official NASCAR pace car, leads them around for heat number three. We have car number 10 with Ben Heat, car number 21, Dave Pierce, car number two with, pardon me, zero two with Mike McKenzie. Outside of him is the zero zero Scott Frazier. Did Scott win the rookie of the year last year? No, 92 won oh, the rookie. He came Dean second. Flatberg, Scott That's came right. Second. Following that, we have the 33 of Bob Ewell. Car 2 of Terry Clattenburg. Car 25, Mike Ryan. That's his, this is his first race today, first so race. all the people from Munkin have come to see him. I'll bet you he's pumped now. And then on the other side, we have car 44 of Wayne Smith. Car 77 is Dave Gourmet. And the pace car heads to the pits. Coming around turn four, coming to the green flag. Ed Hayden maintained in the lead. Mike McKenzie slipping in second and behind him. Dave Pierce is forcing the outside. Oh, I think they had a little bump there. The way this track seems to be running so far, outside is not really the fast way, is it? No, it isn't. Inside is usually the best way. Still up front, and he followed by Mike McKenzie. Bob Ewell's finding it out with Terry Clattenburg for third position. Back to back in the back stretch, but Terry takes the lead in the corner. Mike Ryan seems to be holding his own. He's sitting in fifth position right now. Falling in line and trying to keep his nose clean, I think. I'm sure he wants to keep the car all clean for the feature. It looks pretty. They all do the first race, and then they have to keep up and keep getting them looking good for the rest of the season. Well, besides tuning, you have to keep that car looking good for their sponsors. That's right. That's very important because that's what makes the world go round in the circuit. John Barr can probably attest to how much where he's putting it out of his own pocket to race here today. It can be tough, that's for sure, but most of them have really, really good sponsors, support them, come watch the race, are very, very supportive of the tour. And Hayden is still maintaining the lead. Terry Clattenburg has moved up behind the car, car zero to a Mike McKenzie. Last lap by Sean Terry, definitely wants to get in there and make a challenge. It's really amazing that Mike was able to get back this week because there was really a bad wreck last week at Oyster Bay Bridge, and we were wondering if he could even make it, but the car looks great. A lot of work. And then he managed to stay out front and takes the checkered flag. Number two is Terry Flatberg, unofficially in third spot. Here's your top three from that team. Oh, that is, man, what a display. We sure got a whack of them here today, and it's going to be an incredible. Budweiser 100, nice and Ed Hayden, Dartmouth, Oh, Sc